using the innovation to differentiate your business is as much a function of approach as it is the specific innovation ideas that you can use. It's very unlikely for a company to say it has one unique technology that no one else has. You can learn about any, uh, any technology that catches your fancy. You can, uh, you can re reach out to partners that you think can help you. The bad news is that it's a level playing field. You know, the very things that you can do, so your competition can also do. Hello everyone, my name is Kelvin Balogun. I'm a senior partner with Veraki Partners, a business solutions company for Africa. And here are my top five tips on differentiating your business through innovation. So my first tip for you is pick an area of innovation and stick with it. You see the notion that you have to be good in so many areas for your business to be differentiated. I think it's pure fallacy. It's not true. At least it doesn't align with my experience and I've run a fairly complex organization. You only need to be very good in a particular area, um, but you have to be intentional about defining what that area is. Uh, whether it's going to be technology defined, uh, innovation or business model that is uniquely defined uh, or a product or a service line that uniquely defines you that you do better than someone else whatever the area it is that you pick will require that you invest time to build the capabilities and the competences that will give you that edge so the second tip is you don't have to be the first in an area to be the best or for it to become an area of defining uh, advantage for you you don't have to be the first there the conventional wisdom is that Oh, those who get their first, you know, have this, I think we call it the first mover advantage that is usually unassailable and that protects them for life. Google, for example, is the 18th search engine firm, you know, to have played in that area. Before Google, we had Yahoo, we had all manner of players, you know, their failures educate those who come after them. Uh, it tells people who are going to play in that field that you know uh, what what works and what doesn't work. You don't have to first to introduce the product in the country. You don't have to be the first to try it out to be the best. But you need to find a unique way of doing that thing uh, that leverages all the learnings that's been built up over time by players ahead of you. Tip number three is never stop changing never stop learning there's never uh, an end to learning there's never an end to changing what's going to give you an advantage today is a present continuous event technologies that you are using you know they are changing you know Ran xerox used to be the major producer of this um, copier machines and then the technology came along um, digital uh, technology that will remove all the old advantages that they, that they had and they looked at that technology. Guess what? That technology eventually almost killed their business. So the firms that survive, the firms that thrive, are those that commit not just to starting a journey of innovation, but those that commit to a lifetime of learning and evolving to keep their edge. Tip number four. Collaborate across industry lines. The unique insight, that unique opportunity that comes, uh, usually comes because there's an intersection between what is happening in multiple industries, what is happening in, in the use of technology across different areas, or where technology comes to be the traditional industry. So if you want to find a unique opportunity for innovation, look beyond the, the ex existing boundaries of your industry or the existing boundaries of the technology that you are familiar with. Interact with people in other industries. Interact with technologies that are not necessarily related to your own industry. Tip number five, focus on the custom. Sometimes we talk so much about innovation, we talk so much about differentiation, 
that we forget that it's a means to an end. You know, it's not in itself um, important unless it helps to create value for the customer. All of the things you do, they really wouldn't matter at the end of the day if your customers can't say, because he did this, I'm happy I have him as a supplier. Because he did this, because he adopted this technology, or because he looked for a new way to serve me, you know, um, I'll be more successful with my, with, my, with my business. If there's anything you want to take away from this, it's that at the end of the day, it needs to help you uh, be more effective in serving your customer. And by the way, that would help you make more money.